In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a system of linear equations by graphing. So notice how I have a graph provided here. But this time you have to create your equations. And so this one's going to be just a little harder than when the equations were given to you um, outright. So I'm going to read this scenario up top. I'm going to create my two equations, graph them, and then find the point of intersection, which will be the uh, solution to my system. All right, so here we go. Rory and Seamus both have savings accounts. Now, fun fact, if you know Mrs. Green, you got to go and say hi to her. She has a dog named Rory, and her friend has a dog named Seamus. So she created this uh, friend uh, problem about her. It's, it's actually her dog. It's just so cute. Anyway, keep going. Uh, Rory has $45 in an account and will deposit $10 each month. Now, I guess in this case, maybe Rory's not a dog because I don't know that dogs save money. But anyway, it's kind of funny. Now, Seamus, Seamus has $25 in the account and uh, they deposit $15 each month. So we're talking about savings account here, what you have to start and how much you're saving per month. Now, when will Rory and Seamus have the same amount of money? And how much will they have when they have the same amount? Write an equation for Rory and for Seamus, X will represent the number of months and Y will represent the total number of dollars. Now that function that we've been talking about uh, that looks like this, Y equals MX plus B. The B is normally called your starting point. And I notice that I have a starting point in both Rory and Seamus's, uh, you know, scenarios here. Rory started with $45. Okay, so that's going to be my B for Rory's function. And Seamus had started with $25, so B for Seamus's function. And it talks about month, uh, money per month. When you see the word per or each, so that's kind of our key word, the word per or for each, that's cluing you in that that's going to be your slope because you're doing something per something else. So that's your, your rate of change. The changing is $10 per month. The changing is $15 per month. So now I know the slope then for each of those equations. So this is going to be our um, M here for Rory and our M here for Seamus. Now let's build our two equations. For Rory, Y equals $10 per month. So that's my slope and he started with $45. And then for Seamus, Y equals here, starting with $25, $15 per month savings, so 15X is my slope, and he started with $25. Now let's actually graph those two equations here on our grid. So let me zoom in here for the graph. All right, our first function here is 10X plus 45. I'm gonna start at 45 on our y-axis, which would be this point here, in between 40 and 50. And now the savings is $10 a month. So from 45 to 55 in one month, to 65 in a second month, and then 75, and then 85, and then 95, going up by tens uh, for, for Rory. So I'm gonna connect these few points with a nice straight line. And I'm gonna say this was Rory. And now I'm gonna graph my other line in blue here, starting at $25, but now saving 15. And notice these go by fives. So I'm gonna go up 5, 10, 15 in one month, 5, 10, 15 in another month, 5, 10, 15 in one more month, 5, 10, 15. Oh, here we go. I see that point that we connected. 5, 10, 15 and over in a month. And so this line is for Seamus. All right, so I see where the point of intersection is here. So I'm going to kind of zoom down here where the question says, where do the two lines meet? Well, the two lines meet at this point. Let's locate what that number is. The x value is 4, and that was months. And the Y value was in between 80 and 90, so 85, and that was representing dollars. Okay, what does your intersection point mean? So this is why I wrote down my X comma Y. In four months, Rory 
and Seamus will both have $85. That's our point of intersection.